Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to Metal Tips and Tricks. One of my favorite measuring devices in the shop is, of course, a dial caliper or a digital caliper like this one. And the other thing is, you get these from Harbor Freight for about, what, 20 bucks, 15 bucks on sale? I think you can get them even lower than that every once in a while. And it's probably my most used measuring tool in the shop. And I rely on it for everything. And I shouldn't, because one thing it doesn't do well is measure the inside of a bore. It can measure the outside of something, it can measure the depth, it can also measure a step using this back edge here. But for internal diameters, they're always off a little bit. So let me show you. Here we got a ring gauge, and we're supposed to measure out to 1.0190. Now, why I have a ring gauge like this? Well, I bought a whole drawer or box full of go and no-go gauges, and this is one of them, and it's just an odd size. But if I come in here and measure this, it measures about four thousandths off, okay? Four and a half thousandths, give or take. Now, a lot of you are going to say, well, that's because it's a cheap digital gauge. Well, there's some truth to that. So let's pull out a Starrett. The stair it's off about two, two thousandths of an inch. So the quality of it, you know, it plays into it. If I go into a Michitoyo, like this one here, this Michitoyo reads off about a thousandths for this diameter. And if I go down smaller, it even reads a little bit more off. And well, that's not satisfactory for me. So let's talk about how to fix it. First of all, what you're going to need is a ring gauge. Now, don't freak out and think you're going to have to go out and buy a ring gauge for this. You're not going to. You're just going to have to make one on your lathe. And it's not tough. Just take your time and get that bore as good as, you, as, good as possible. Now, it doesn't matter what size the bore is. I would do one that's around a half inch and do one that's about an inch and compare the two when you're um, making the adjustments to the calipers. What we do need to know is the exact measurement that the one is that you made. And we're just going to simply go in with a, with a snap gauge. But first, mark it like I did here with a Sharpie. And that will help keep your accuracies. Because no matter how good your lathe is, when it turns a hole, um, you're still going to have some variances in there. And you're going to get probably an oval shape. Not because you want it, it's just some of the inaccuracies. So you'll go in with a snap gauge, get your measurement, write it down on here, and you're going to be rocking. So now you're going to ask the question, well, how do you adjust it? Well, adjusting it is as easy as pie, or should I say sharpening stone. I got a little slip stone here. I really like a lightweight stone like this because I can feel it. And what we're going to try to do here is, like I said, there's a flat spot on top of this. Now, we can't make it a knife sharp edge. It's just not going to stay sharp for a long period of time, and it's eventually going to wear out, and you're going to have more inaccuracies. What we're going to do is knock the corner off and just round it over. And it's very easy to do with a slip stone like this. Now, when we do this, Push it away from you. Look at your edge. Actually, I'm going to put on some cheaters here if you don't mind. And you're just going to work this, round it over, come to the other side, round it over. And you're going to check it, see how it works out. OK, we're about 3,000 soft now. And I'm just going to keep working this until I get to the size that I want it to be and the accuracy that I need it to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little video. I know it's going to save you a lot of headaches in the long run. So now go out in your shop, modify a tool, and then build something cool. Thanks. Mm -hmm.